Okay, really quick. I just want to show you this trick that we've done because it's pretty cool. Okay, so this tarp has been on the ground right there. That spot is notoriously weedy, um, but now it's all nice. It's I, I swear it's been there for 12 months. I left it there at least that long. It's a really long time. You can see there's some weeds around the edges where it blew away. But for the most part, that soil is really epic. Now, if it was good soil and it wasn't full of this nasty bindweed morning glory crud that I hate, I would start growing right in that. Um, however, I'm going to cover it with some extra weed fabric, but more than anything, it was proof of concept. I wanted to see it work. Okay, and clearly it does. There it is. I'm going to turn the camera around for you so you can see it. Cover it, leave it, end up with that. It looks awesome. Let's go take a closer look. Okay, so you can see in this particular spot right here, lots of earthworm activity. The, de the dirt is, like, look at that. It's just so nice and soft. This entire top layer is just beautiful topsoil. Um, zero work. The worms have just been chewing things up under there and doing all sorts of good stuff for us. So, oh, yep, there's one of our friends right there. So, so here's what we have going on up here. I'm going to bring you down here. So under here, you can kind of see, okay, this is all of last year's grass clippings and leaves that we shredded up with the lawnmower at the end of the season and it, it's all under that like all over that should trap moisture with this plastic make the worms uber happy and i'm going to drop the plants down in once things warm up a little bit and i'm going to try to grow right on top of this black plastic i've done it before i think it will work um but it's totally an experiment we're gonna have some fun with it Okay, so quick update. Soil underneath all of that was amazing. If it wasn't loaded with bindweed and other absolutely nasty weeds, we could have totally planted right into that. But instead we're gonna cover it with this landscape fabric and then we have some plans to put in like a formal raised bed garden that's gonna flow up through all of this. So, it's going to come in stages to save cost and all of that kind of stuff, right? So we'll put phase one here. Phase two will go here maybe this fall or next spring. And then phase three will finish up here. And then above that we have plans for a, like a seating area with fire pits and stuff like that. This is the same plastic that was over there. We just drug it up, which should create excellent worm habitat and allow all of that to break down into soil. So while that is happening, we're gonna cut tiny little holes in all of this and plant some plants that will grow up on top of all of this plastic. So things like pumpkins and winter squash, maybe some tomato vines, you know, we'll see what we end up deciding to put here, but, but we're gonna plant in this space and this is gonna help keep the weeds down. Got some weed barrier down. It's kind of painful to cover up such nice dirt, but I know what sort of weeds are in it. This wind is going to be bad, so hopefully if I hold the... I'm trying to make my body a windscreen, sorry. Anyway, um, so the boxes are in. They're not leveled up yet. We're going to have to put some 4x4 posts in the corner to level them, and then we'll stain them and fill them with dirt, and we'll be ready to plant. So to build off my last video on building soil, this is another option for dealing with extremely bad soil. In this case, past experience has shown that dealing with the weed infestation in this area is just too much to overcome. So we hatched a plan for a formal raised bed garden. The system is a bit more expensive, obviously, as you have to purchase all the weed barrier, lumber, stain, etc. to get everything put together, but it represents the same basic concept of building soil instead of digging things up. I'm excited to get this project started and also excited to see how growing through the black plastic goes this season as well. Are you planning on growing a garden this season? Comment down below if the events of 2020 have you debating taking up gardening. 
We have plans to put together some content throughout the growing season this year to help you along the way, so consider subscribing to see our latest content as it comes out. That's all for this episode. Get out there and get ready to get growing, because life is better when it's lived outdoors. We'll see you next time.